Corey, hey, uh, great video. Um, I wanted to respond to you and Matt, but, you know, I guess I can't make this a video response to both, so I'm just going to respond to you, because I've never talked to you before, and I've talked to Matt, but it's been like three years, so hey, Matt, if you're watching this, but anyway, Corey. Yeah, good points. Uh, philosophy being the preeminent form of moving together. I was going to say moving forward. I guess moving forward and moving together are inherently separate. Uh, but really, we can't move forward unless we're moving together. I mean, we can't sustainably move forward. You know, the leader always gets shot, so we kind of make, kind of make it seem like there's no leader. Uh, and obviously, the leader doesn't always get shot, but, you know, in times of war, you shoot the person that's in front, usually. Um, I kind of got to a point where I kind of just dismissed my thoughts. I was able to let go of my thoughts. And um, I got really bored after that. That was about four years ago. And I've been ambling since. Like, I was heavy into philosophy and figuring out, like, you know, I think one key of philosophy is not to have your own strain of thought, but to take in every other strain of thought or as many others as possible. Um, where the philosophy comes from, like you say, you have to form hardened words or thoughts or something, uh, I think. Otherwise, no one pays any attention to you, but then it's not really about whether or not people are paying attention to you, or is it? It's not so much about worrying about if people are paying attention to you, but the attention that's paid values the thought. Otherwise, you may as well be a rock or a tree. Uh, yeah, we have this ability to discourse. So, you know, I got to a point where it was like, what do I say? It's all been said. Or if it hasn't, it's going to be. And if it isn't, it doesn't really, does it really even matter? Like, uh, I guess somewhat nihilist. Maybe that's a pitfall of philosophy or psychotherapy or, or psychology in general is, is getting to a point where you don't care or where you question so much that you, you question the very basis of why you're questioning things and end up spinning in the mud or whatever. I think uh, obviously working together is a key. I, I really like discussion uh, on a level where there's a large amount of people in a room and like, one person goes on and can talk for 20 minutes, an hour, and then the next person goes on for like an hour. Literally, like you have a group of eight people and each person speaks for 20, 40 minutes. Um, that, that's my, what, I, what I seek in life. So I tend to go on for 20 minutes or 40 minutes because it's just what I like. Um, how we do it? It's a slow process. It's like, how do you grow a garden? You know, it, it, you can't, it's not going to be there tomorrow, but you can plant the seeds and then it's about the patience. It's like, uh, it's like a game of golf or like, you know, getting high and staying up till four in the morning or eating food and staying up till four in the morning and ruining your own life by basically overextending yourself. You know, it, the only person that can destroy you is you more or less. Um, so in order to form this kind of uh, thought process, global thought process or, or binding of thoughts or coming together of thoughts, it's a lot like growing a garden. You can, it just, it takes time. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really know if, if there's a how to it. There's no right way. Patience is debatable like what does that even mean sitting there and not saying anything is not necessarily being patient um there's like a an ability to ground yourself it's just i've gotten so much into like my own chemistry since i since i started clearing my mind i started like one of my main focuses now is is how i feel and like if i if i feel stressed i know that that's from tension and I believe the tension is like string tension from string theory, which is caused by like overabundance of electrons or something like that. So I know that I have to release electrons to release tension. 
and that's by breathing out. You breathe out carbon dioxide, which is oxidized carbon, which has an extra electron, which is why your breath is hot. So you can get, you can release tension by breathing out. You can release tension by draining energy into the ground, basically by grounding yourself. Um, it, it's really good in dirt. Bare feet in dirt helps because the earth will keep you cool and warm at the same time. You can disperse energy, but if you disperse, obviously energy in this term is negative. All energy is negative because energy basically is electrons, and that's all negative energy. So if you release it outward, disperse energy, that, that's going to affect everything and everyone around you. And so if, that's like the easiest way to do it is basically enervate, just like drop it out of you. But that fucks up everything. I mean, it, 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 it ruins people, basically. People don't want to be around it, from, from my experience. So grounding, like a direct current into the earth, the earth doesn't seem to mind. Breathing out. It's a little more condensed than enervation. Um, so once you can learn how to untense, where do you go from there? I mean, what do you do? You can do anything. So you do what you want. That's a little selfish. Uh, you know, this is my philosophical mind going over and over. I play music. I like to play music. I like to act. I like to entertain. But then at the same time, I don't like to pigeonhole myself. And I don't like to, I know that making words is necessary. Well, I've been told it's necessary to get to the next step. And I can't just sit in the forest all day, every day. This is like a personal philosophy. Now, discussing philosophy and what it is, like there's this guy Philo, right? He's like a Greek guy, I think, back in like 30 AD or something, or BC, I don't know. But he like merged Jewish spiritual thought and Greek spiritual thought. Was he the first philosopher, Philo? I don't know, maybe. Osophy is like the study of stuff that he did. I mean, obviously Plato was around before that. Maybe they called it philosophy in retrospect after Philo came and bonded Jewish and Greek thought. Uh, I like I like it. I like the idea of turning it over, uh, you know, mulching it. Um, I've been trained to be human in that I've been trained to say thank you and please and speak to people when I meet them. I don't know that's necessarily the best thing. Sometimes I think just thinking the greeting is more effective than saying the greeting. But it sure is fucking weird, man. I mean, it's it's a real social distortion. And that is part of, I think, breaking through to the next level is distorting reality. Because, we, you know, what is reality but a, a sick fucking brick manufacturing house? Uh, we got a break it down without breaking it basically you know you got to change the dna see i just did it by doing this is what i thought um i've gone over this a lot in my mind and with people and i think it's it exhausting fortunately youtube is a great venue to splash it. You know, people are going to tell me I'm crazy, but people are going to tell me I'm great. And I guess that's part of developing thought is it's crazy and great at the same time. Well, this was way less poignant than I thought it was going to be. Um, if I'm missing something, let me know, plug it in and, uh, Otherwise, I hope maybe I, I sparked something. I, I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, it was good to hear from you.